Hi everyone, a few months ago I went to a beach for a dry run test of a Canon XA70 camcorder and I took a bunch of HD 60 frames per second videos. Then when editing I upscaled them to 4K. It turned out great but didn't have a video shot originally in 4K by the camcorder to see how does it compare with what I upscaled. So in this video I did capture some shots in both HD and 4K to compare the upscaled 4K with the 4K shot by the camcorder and also going over pros and cons of recording 4K versus HD upscale to 4K. Here I start with comparing upscaled 4K 60 frames per second to their original HD 60 frames per second videos. If you want to know how to upscale your videos here is an info card on, on the top right corner pointing to a video I made about how to do that and also you can check out video suggestions and then dump this video so the question is why not record my videos in 4k 60 frames per second instead there are many reasons first this camcorder which is relatively recent maximum frame rate is 30 in 4k and 60 in hd which is common in most cameras and camcorders so by recording hd you usually get higher frame rate than when you record in 4k Second reason is your camcorder or camera uses much more battery when recording in 4K. And third, which is the most important one, is the size of the files are much larger and you need higher capacity and faster write speed memory cards. The fourth reason is uh, maintaining these videos takes a lot of space on your home hard disk or whatever storage you use. So by recording HD, you eliminate all these expenses while you can have the quality of 4K. But in this video, we want to find out if there is any trade-off doing that. Meaning, what is the difference in terms of quality when you record in 4K versus when you record in HD and upscale later. Here's the first video comparison. On the left is a 4K uh, native 30 frames per second taken by camera. On the right is the 4K upscale from HD 30 frames per second. And the differences are in the left side, uh, the native one has a depth of field in the middle, uh, is in the focus, and the bottom part of the screen is a little bit out of focus, which is out of depth of field. And on the right side, you see it's been sharpened digitally. And another big problem is that uh, on the right side, the sharpened upscaled image has a thin white line around the edges, very thin white line. And that obviously doesn't exist in the native 4K. And also the 4K on the left, the native 4K, the picture profile can be adjusted to add a little bit of sharpness. So the sharpness is not maximum here. But overall, the right side looks good, very from HD com converted to 4K. It's very good comparable consumer level, something ac acceptable. In this example, the HD footage on the right side has been upscaled to the middle part of the video and been compared to a native 4K on the left side. As you can see, the difference is not very prevalent. Especially this camcorder has a high quality in HD. It captures 35 megabits per second. It has a large lens and very strong processor. But still, you can see uh, the out of depth of field in the bottom and top of the screen has been sharpened in the middle which is also on the left side you see there is a kind of depth of field but immediate surrounding around the depth of field very small thin margin might get sharpened using this technique otherwise it looks good in a long shot in another test sample in the night scene we want to see what this technique does to low light noises and low light situation as you can see most of the areas have been smoothened Using this technique, if we look deeper into the image, we will see the fine textures have been smoothened up and it causes the part of the video look a little bit digitized. That's the same similar thing that smartphones are doing to reduce noises, also DJ Osmo Pocket 3. So this is a technique that takes the naturality away and in some areas the details are getting lost. Overall, despite all the items that I mentioned, which most of them weren't obvious without magnifying the video, capturing in HD pros 
outweighs the cons specifically from a consumer perspective but if i feel uh, there is a special scene that i think i want to keep in the best detail i switch to 4k on my camera or camcorder i keep my archive footages in hd and who knows maybe in future technology evolves and might be able to get even better quality of scaling technique thanks for watching bye